Welcome to officialnintendomagazine.co.uk where we're about to give you 10 reasons why you should buy the brand new 3DS XL when it launches on the 28th of July. In no particular order then, reason one has to be the giant screens. The screens on the XL are so much bigger that they literally slap you in the face when you first open the unit. You'll be pleased to hear that the upscale is great too. While the screens are 90% larger, they still have the same number of pixels. This means the screen has essentially been stretched and initially at least we were worried that this upscale might make the image look a little bit blurry and pixelated. Thankfully, the images still look great. Next up on our list of reasons to own a 3DS XL, it fits in our hands. The 3DS is tiny. In many ways that's a good thing, it fits in your pocket for starters. But if you don't have the hands of a child, you'll find the hands start to ache with extended play. This can mostly be attributed to the fact that you have to hold the unit in quite an unnatural position, especially if you need constant access to the L and R buttons. The 3DS XL's larger size means that it fits larger hands perfectly. The shoulder buttons are now perfectly placed, and this makes the entire experience so much more pleasurable. Reason 3. Ergonomic improvements. It may seem like a tiny adjustment, but the curved corners make a huge difference to extended play sessions. We've talked about the smaller size causing issues with larger hands, and the sharper edges of the standard 3DS add to this discomfort by digging into your palms. The curved corners reduce this discomfort significantly again, completely changing the nature of extended play sessions. Number 4 on our list has to go to the stylus improvements. The 3DS stylus was quite awkwardly placed. Whenever you needed to get to it, for example unscrewing panels in Resident Evil, you had to stop what you were doing, flip the machine towards you and look for the stylus. Now it can be found on the side of the machine and can be located by touch within seconds. Nintendo has also ditched the periscope design and gone back to a standard one piece matte finish design. Let's face it, nobody ever extended the thing anyway. Reason 5. More memory. As time goes on, flash memory becomes cheaper, so it makes sense that Nintendo would include a larger memory card. The new 4GB card boasts double the capacity of the 3DS memory card and will enable you to store many more eShop titles, photos and videos without the rigmarole of backing them up to your computer or re-downloading them once you have the spare memory. We're halfway through the feature, but that doesn't mean the remaining reasons are any less valid. On the contrary, we've got some surefire reasons to buy coming right up. Reason 6 has to be the improved battery life. Nintendo's official estimations have the battery life improved by around 20%, which is great news for long train or plane journeys. That extra hour or so makes a huge difference. The battery life of the 3DS very much depends on how graphically intensive the games are, whether you're playing online or offline, and to what extremes you run the 3D. That said, the battery life of the 3DS XL is, in general, a definite improvement. Where it's been most noticeable for us is in standby mode, where the machine appears to last far longer than before. Reason 7 depends entirely on personal preference, but in our opinion, the buttons are far nicer. The standard 3DS model doesn't have proper buttons for select, home and start functions. They're hidden underneath a flat, smooth veneer. The 3DS XL, on the other hand, has very obvious buttons finished in a pleasingly tactile, matte black treatment. Whether you prefer this or not is entirely down to you, but we're very much in the show us the buttons camp. Only three more reasons to go, but they're good ones. Reason 8 is awarded to the fact that you can enjoy the greats all over again. The size of the new screens cannot be underestimated. It's often been the case in the official Nintendo magazine office that we felt our favourite games are wasted on such a tiny screen. The 3DS XL screen is hardly TV sized, but the 90% increase breathes new life into our favourite games. I'm playing through Resident Evil Revelations again, and Tom is playing through Mario Kart again, and the reason is that the games are so much more enjoyable now. It's hard to imagine how we ever played these games on such a small screen in the first place. Reason 9. Films come alive. It's great that the 3DS gives you access to 3D video downloads, but if we're being honest, the size of the screen means that you really have to squint if you want to watch a film on it. Let's face it, up until now most people would rather use a laptop or a tablet to do it. But now, for the first time, watching a video or a film is something we would choose to do. The 3DS XL makes that a realistic possibility. Last up on our list of reasons to buy a 3DS XL is a pretty important one. 3D that actually works. One of the main selling points of the 3DS, of course, is the 3D itself. 
Nintendo blazed the trail when it introduced affordable glasses free 3D in the palm of your hand, but the nature of the technology dictates that the sweet spot has a limited threshold. If you're on a train and you're moving around quite a bit, it becomes hard to focus as you're constantly straying in and out of that sweet spot. It's unlikely that problem will be fully rectified for many years to come, but the good news is that the 3DS XL sweet spot has a far wider threshold. This is likely down to the screen size rather than an improvement in technology, but it means that you can afford to stray a little bit more without the dreaded double vision ruining those critical moments. And that's it from us. All that's left is for you to run down to the shops and get your hands on one. If you have enough cash saved to buy one outright, then good for you. If you're looking to trade in your 3DS for one though, shop around as there are some great deals to be found. The brand new 3DS XL launches on the 28th of July.